Manchester United really need to learn that a football match lasts 90 minutes and not just 45 because, yeah, we do this so many times, a fantastic 45 minutes dominating display and then a woeful second half, uh, which thankfully did result in three points. I'm not going to be negative or anything. I just think we do need to work on that because there's so many times where it's a complete contrast in each of the halves. And we were playing phenomenally well in the first half. It could have been three or four. Um, and yeah, we, we kind of let it slip. But as I say, two tough away games, away against Burnley, away against uh, Watford, obviously not top sides, although Burnley did finish seventh last season. But because of Europa, they're struggling a bit this season. But despite that, they, they still are tough away games, especially with Watford's form and what Burnley did last uh, season. But that's six points. And uh, we move on to the Champions League. Yes, fucking love the Champions League, of course. Um, but yeah, one thing I will say is that the squad is definitely playing for Jose Mourinho. They have not given up on him, which is great to see, uh, despite what's being written in the press, etc. You know, all this catastrophe about Mourinho's third season, players stabbing him in the back uh, in previous clubs, etc. Doesn't look as though it's going to happen at Manchester United. Hopefully, they, they, there's definitely a, a togetherness and a belief and a trust uh, that the players have for the manager. Obviously, there's issues, um, particularly Pogba with all of his interviews, etc. I, I think it is quite clear that he does want to leave the club. But it seems that, at least from this display, and hopefully for the remainder of the season, and hopefully beyond, but probably not... Um, that he'll do what he did in this game and that set aside dif any differences he has with the manager and just play for the club um, instead of, you know, sulking or whatever or trying to force a move. Um, but yeah, regardless, first half, as I say, we played very, very well. Uh, Alexis and Pogba played like we know they can. Um, both of them were very unlucky not to score. Alexis had a brilliant shot. Um, he, he dribbled past a couple of players and uh, it's a fantastic save by Ben Foster. Pogba had three separate shots that were all phenomenally saved by Ben Foster as well. Um, but the goals for us, uh, Fellini played a big part in both of them. The first one, um, it's a cross. I think it might be a free kick, but I think it's a cross. Comes into Fellini. Uh, he tries to cross it himself. It uh, rebounds all the way to Ashley Young. A little bit of a deflection, and Lukaku scores with his abs. Never seen a player score with their abs before, but uh, yeah, clearly onside, uh, obviously a little bit of a scrappy goal, but who the hell cares, Lukaku scores, that's four goals this season for him, of course he could have a, a few more, but four is a good tally for a striker at this, uh, well, five games in to a season, uh, most would be happy with that. Um, and then the second goal comes, and this one is even more uh, Fellaini, really. Uh, it's, a, it's a good ball whipped in, and Fellaini is there at the back post, heads it across, and Smalling with uh, Robin Van Persie-esque volleying ability there, the, the way he uh, gets the ball down for the half volley, 2-0. And then, as I say, a couple of chances for Sanchez, for, for Pogba, but well saved by uh, Foster. And then the half-time whistle comes, and it's a complete switch around. Watford completely dominate the second half uh, we didn't really get a look in although I will say we were on the counter a few times and uh, you can tell when Martial was brought on he's lacking confidence and he's lacking match fitness because there was a few decisions he made incorrectly there was a, a ball through to Lukaku that he played kind of to his feet where you need to play it in front of him so Lukaku can run onto that uh, that should have been a third goal for us um, and there was another couple of instances where the counter-attack was there and Martial just picked the wrong option or just, you know, it wasn't at his best. And that's understandable. Um, and thankfully, it didn't come back to bite us at the end of the game. But yeah, Watford's goal. Um, I, I, don't, I don't think there's really too much you can do about it. It's, it's a little bit unlucky. Maybe someone can pick up the run of uh, Andre Gray, but the ball falls to him. Uh, in the box and there's nothing to hear could do. He had a really good game, made some brilliant saves, particularly the last second of the game. Well, the last few seconds of the game made two terrific saves. It's just what you've came to expect from De Gea, really. Few people that are kind of a bit stupid uh, thinking that, you know, maybe he's going to decline a bit because of the poor World Cup uh, performances he had. But no, he's, he's bouncing back from that and he, he is the best goalkeeper in the world and he's just going to prove it time and time again. Uh, basically saved us the three points today because uh, obviously if Watford had scored there there's basically no time to get back in it so that would have been 2-2 so yeah at the end of the day good result just 
I don't, I don't know what it is, if it's focus, if it's belief, if it's tactics or whatever, um, but yeah, like we, we seem to have like two completely contrasting halves, most games of football, and we just need a game where we're in complete control for 90 minutes, and we're playing like we do for 45 for the full 90. So yeah, hopefully that comes soon, but as I say, 9 points out of 15 obviously should be better, but it could be worse, uh, and hopefully we can build on this and go on a, a little bit of a run now, but as I say, looking forward to the Champions League away um, to young boys, of course, in the uh, Champions League, and then, I think it's Valencia, then Juventus, but uh, regardless, the fixtures get bigger and better, but let's start off with 3 points in the Champions League, qualify from that group. Continue in the Premier League and uh, see where the season takes us, really. If I can find how to turn this off. Great, isn't it? What an ending to the video. Absolutely terrific. 